Good afternoon, students. Today, our fifth day, uh, unit five, and I have given some assignment or homework to you, and two three days uh, that you got to complete that homework, and I hope you completed all, and please you are kindly requested uh, be with me and enjoy the class. Try to learn as much as and uh, complete the homework which I have given you and today our lesson is our identities. Our identities students what is identities? Identities means whatever by your or by our or by me by my anyone will know about us anyone know who am i or who you are that is called identity suppose if we are talking about the identity my identity my identity normally whatever you are observing me by my face by my dress up and by my ox yes as a social teacher that is my identity and look like the sum all of have the identity and our identities means uh, today we are talking about the we are discussing about the issue of our identities how the all all will uh, know us how the Nepal our country are well known by the others how they no actual us that identities is called our identities we are from nepal the nepal is a beautiful country all over the world how they recognize our country how they know about our country this is our identity so uh, this regarding the identity First, we will go through the geographical identity. Geographical identity, student, you see uh, mountain region, hilly region, and Tarai region. This our country geographically divided into three regions. All you are well known about that. Okay, uh, from your junior classes, uh, you are reading all these things. Even though. I am repeating all this because in our uh, course or curriculum that our identities while explaining about the geographical identity we are discussing on it. Mountain region, hilly region and Tarai region. Okay? First of all area, area occupied the area percentage uh, first that is mountain regions 15 percentage and hilly region 68 percentage and Tarai region 17 percentage. Comparatively, our hilly regions, we have the more hilly regions and less mountainous regions and Tarai region. And another is on the basis of height. While talking about the geographical identity, on the basis of height, you know our Tarai which is plain, yes, plain and fertile land and we have the uh, 59 meter height from the sea level that is the Dhanusha district of the place name is Musahar. Again, I am repeating that 59 meter from the sea level that is located in Dhanusha district having the name of the place Musahar, whereas 59 meter also we have and we have 8848 meters the highest peak of the world also we have it is the our great identity being a small country by size we have the that much low height also that is 59 meter and that is the top most height also we have okay so that this is our identity we being a small country okay by the base of 
by the base of area only our small country okay remember that also keep in your mind our country is small but by the base of area not by sovereignty not by any other nationality or so on okay so 59 meter to 8848 meter we have so that is our great identity and small country having a three types of geography topography okay that is we are enjoying the life standard of tarai also we are enjoying the life standard of hill also and we are enjoying the uh, life standard of mountain also have you ever think all the country have all the uh, peoples of the country have that luck we are only so much lucky okay you see our is to west total uh, breadth is only sorry length is 885 km average whereas north to south our breadth is 193 km and our area small area but we have all three types of geographical situation or you can say uh, all geographical uh, condition we have so being a nepali we can enjoy that if we want we can visit all the, uh, that three regions within some period of times or within one two day if you see the examples of the very big country suppose saudi arab yes qatar and many other country if they want to visit all that sort of topographical variations mountain hill tarai they have to left their country and visit to the another country but we can be, we have this golden chance because we are very lucky being a nepali we can enjoying that and we can experiencing that so that is the our geographical identity while talking about the geographical identity students while talking about the mountain regions mountain regions has been divided into three sub groups a uh, border uh, himalayan main himalaya and tibetan basin border himalaya uh, you can see here border himalaya main himalaya and tibetan basin okay uh, our mountain region has been divided into three sub groups and which groups Uh, comes under uh, this groups and what sort of explanation about this we will discuss on the geographical portion but while talking about the mountains our mountains are the multi purpose we are using our country is getting advantage by the mountains by various ways first of all uh, in mountain regions there are beauty okay many peoples are visiting our country as a tourist uh, tourist destinations to observe our mountain to see and enjoy the beautiful scenery somehow are coming to climb the various uh, mount everest and many others mountains dhaulagiri nilgiri kanchanjunga annapurna and many more okay and number one is that is uh, by the basis of scenery beauty and tourist destinations number two our mountains are standing okay standing in a north as a borders you can say it is working as a boundary of the country that is also great work done by the our mountain regions or you can say not a mountain regions uh, by our big mountains and another advantage is that when the monsoon flow from way of bengal to towards our mountains our mountains are working as a barrier of the monsoon so that when the monsoon uh, blocked by our mountains only rainfall is uh, taking place rainfall takes place in our country so that mountains are working to block the monsoon which comes by the way of bengal that is also the good and advantage from our mountains okay and this is the most uh, important our mountainous regions is most important for us and it is our geographical identity okay now hill region hill region 68% area occupied by the hill region uh, that is 
most of the parts you can say more than 50 percent means uh, and hilly regions also divided into into chure mahabharat and midland okay and in hilly region fertile basin tar and valleys are there fertile basin tar and valleys are there beautiful valleys uh, kashmandu city pokhara city yes and many more beautiful places are there and there are fertile basin also all you know what is basin basin is the topographical situations you can see when in your home also there is the basin yes when you go to wash your face or wash your hand that is the basin yes that shape made by the any natural ways uh, of the land is called basin okay compare with this and keep in your mind make an image set in your mind what is basin basin is in your home in a same ways in a big okay uh, in a size that is big and made by the any natural ways is called the basin tar is a long places and valleys you know what is valleys a uh, valleys is the place where which is plain place and surrounded by the hills that is called valleys okay and fertile basins uh, tar and valleys are there in a hilly region okay another is tarai region tarai region occupied by the 17 percent Tarai region occupied by the 17 percentage, 59 meter also there, Tarai power inner Tarai in three uh, subdivision or parts that Tarai region has been divided. Okay? And regarding the Tarai regions, our identity, why our identity is great, why our identity is unique. Now, I am connecting how mountain regions, hill regions and Tarai regions, plain fertile, fertile land, greenery of the uh, country, yes, many more productions is in Tarai regions and from the mountain regions, uh, big rivers are following and that rivers are coming from uh, through the hill regions and they are uh, bringing the some fertiles fertilizers and that uh, river come up to Tarai regions and the rivers left the fertile soil in uh, Tarai regions. Because of this, Tarai regions have the more fertile soil and more production. So, it is the greenery of the country. See, see the relation first. Rivers are coming, connecting, collecting the fertilizer and giving to the Tarai region. Tarai region uh, producing, okay? Tarai region producing crops and that produ production giving to the hilly region and mountain region, okay? Himal Pahar Tarai, koi China Parai. Why? Because geographically also how we are connected, how we are exchanging our goods, look like a water system, okay? Mountain hills and Tarai have that much relation to each other. So, our country geographically our identity is very unique, very creative, very interesting and very much strong identity we have. So, geographical identity and now we are talking about the, on the geographical identity, our identities, our identities are our rivers. Okay. More than 600, uh, sorry, 6000 rivers and rivulets are here. Okay. 6000 rivers and rivulets are here to develop our nation in future. We can use our water resources. We are standing in the second richest. Okay. We are the second richest in water resources and our waters, you know that 83,000 megawatt uh, productions we can produce that much electricity, we can generate that much electricity and we can sell that uh, electricity to the other countries and that is going on. Previous time, one, two years before there used to be a, what there used to be a, there is still lacking of the electricity, yes and lights, electricity were not available in that time. Nowadays, maximum we are getting, yes. So, in, uh, in future, Remember students, we have the uh, water resources ability, we can uh, generate the electricity and regarding the electricity, uh, main power should be developed 
by the country and we students please you have to think in this field in this field if you go there is the scope okay there is the scope so that select that areas also in future and nowadays we have to think about the alternative energy so that instead of the lpg that we have to start to use the that uh, electricity so that we can use our home production in our own area or in our home so that our country can be dependent if any country will block it to us why we are fluttering because in our country there is no facility of the lpg gas okay if we use our electricity and then we can uh, change that situation we can be we can be oneself uh, reliable as well as dependent oneself so that we can progress our life we can be developed in future so think about that water resource and rivers if we have the uh, resources if the nature have given us the resources that we have to utilize by the natural resources by the basis of rivers and the water resources we are very rich so that is also our identity okay another is green jungle nepal's wealth hari yo ban nepal ko dhan it means we have lots of jungles okay we have lots of jungles and various types of either uh, that is the jungle of chiton or that is the uh, jungle of hilly area and somehow precious precious things we have look like uh, yasa gumba and many others herbals herbal trees that can use to make a medicine so green jungles and the nepal's wealth it is also one of our great identity so that because of this by using this we can develop our country and that is our identity students by this way geographical identity i try to explain it if you understood i'm sure you understood but my teaching my motive of teaching is while teaching to the students students observe the class understand nicely they can write they can write on a board okay they can write on uh, sorry they can write on an answer sheet they can write and they can get a good marks please students obtaining good marks is not only my motive my motive is my students have to use the knowledge on a ground i already told you yes if we have the water resources we have the natural resources we have to utilize this in our country if we are able to utilize this you look like a brilliant man power if you use your mind in our country if you uh, invest your labor in our country our country can be developed so students please think don't think for others other means foreign countries going abroad and working one thing i would like to add it is no need to write in a exam what is our identity okay don't write in exam but keep in your mind and keep in your heart okay my student our identity now our identity is going abroad working as a normal class workers our identity is being dependent to others yes so please that identity not required we have to work here we have to love our nation we have to stay here we have to develop here now time please think please please okay what nation gave me don't think that what nation gave me many thing given by the nation what nation gave me don't think think that what i can give to my nation okay what can i give to my nation that is the thinking ways 
that is the good thinking. So, please that sort of identities going abroad, earning money and clicking some pictures and posting on the media or you can say social sites and every time working for the others country that is not fear students, that is not our identity, that is not taught by our ancestors. Okay, our ancestor told us, Janani Janma Vamissa Surgadapi Gariyasi. We have to love our nation. Students, please love your nation. And you, I agree that when you will say that, sir, we are loving our nation, we love our nation. When you love our nation, when you will work for a country, when you will not go abroad, if you went also, come back early, learn something there and utilize here, by that ways our country can be developed. So, this is also lesson that you have to learn, not only writing in a copy and obtaining A plus GPA 4, only that is not uh, my motive to teaching, that is not my aim to as a effective teaching learning process, students has to utilize the knowledge on a ground also. Okay, students, you will do, I hope. Okay. Now, I have written another topic that is unity in diversity is our identity. Unity in diversity is our identity. It is required to explain? I think not. Yes because you are very well known class 9 students uh, in class 8 class 7 many times you have written this okay even though i am explaining as a revision okay unity in diversity according to the census 2068 in previous classes also i had told okay we have 125 ethnic groups 125 ethnic groups, 123 languages, 10 religions and uh, if that much difference we have, we have different language, okay? we have different ethnic groups and we have uh, different religions, it means we are different in different ways, okay? we are different in different ways. If someone is Hindu, Muslim, Christian, yes, and in that ways, we are very different. You see, on garden, yes, I remember my national anthem. I proud to be a Nepali, okay. Uh, that in our national anthem written clearly, yes, Sayu Thunga Ful Kahami, Yewte Mala Nepali. In that garden, if one flower missing in that time, it not looks a uh, beautiful in a garden, in a where there is a garden, there should be a different types of flowers and the flowers should be bloom, only that garden looks a very beautiful garden. So, students, our country look like a gardens, different flowers are here, some are blooming, some are going to bloom, some are smiling, some are laughing, all are enjoying in our country and all we are the Nepali, uh, we have the different religions, different cultures, different festival, different dance, okay? you know today is the Eid and our Muslim brothers are enjoying the festival and all we are also enjoying, all we are wishing to them and they are also we are connecting with each, each others, we love to them. When, you know, I remember I am missing my school life, uh, sorry, my school because of this COVID-19, uh, school is not being open. Uh, after the Eid, my uh, students used to bring some prasad uh, as a teacher because they are from the Muslim uh, religion. Okay? But we have that much of connection, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whatever we are, we are Nepali, so that this sort of feeling we have and we have the different cultures that accepted, accepted, agree, but we are enjoying in 
every situation. So, unity in diversity by the base of language we are different. Some are Gurung language, Magar language, yes, some Avadi, Tharu, uh, some are Nepali language, near about 44.5 percent peoples are using the Nepali language, whereas others have the different, different, different language. They are speaking both language, Nepali language also, as well as their own mother tongue language also. Yes, Bote have their own language, Thakali have their own language, Serpa have their own language, Gurung, Magar, Tharu, whatever they are, different languages are there. So, our country is multi talent, multi, multilingual multi ethnic group, multi caste, multicultural, many multi we have. So, that that is our identity, unity in diversity is our identity, multi is our identity. Okay? Main thing is that multi is our identity, we have many more. So, unity in diversity and another I talked, I explained about the diversity and still I am not explaining clearly about the unity. Okay? We have diversified by various ways, diversities are lots of there, but we have the unity. We have the common aspiration, we have the national independence, we have the territorial integrity, we love our sovereignty, we are ready to die for our nation, this is our unity. Okay? This is our unity, common aspirations. Okay? We love our nation, national independence, national integrity and we respect our sovereignty, our sovereign country Nepal, which always is the dependent country. You have seen in the future, sorry past, many countries except 18, 19 countries, all country colonialized. Much powerful country USA or America also colonialized in that time. Okay? And our country India, our country not our neighboring country, okay? our neighboring country India also colonialized by the Britishers. Only 1947 AD, the India was decolonialized or get uh, got independence and China and many powerful countries were colonialized. Colonialization means where the country all the power taken by the other countries, that sort of situation arises all over the world, but our country always independent country that is our identity and that we have to think and you can see, you can see nowadays, now you are a senior students, okay? the cases of Darchula district, you can see our Nepal. Now, new map of Nepal that current is flowing here to there, yes or no students. So, in this case also see our national integrity, sometimes because of the some uh, tweet done by the Manisha Koirala, okay? what she has told and some leaders of the oppositions and leaders of the uh, government sides everywhere we have seen there is unity either the persons are working in other countries, wherever they are, they are showing the unity. Some are saying, I will pay the 5 crore rupees to make a good boundary. Okay? Some are saying, I will not take my monthly salary or payment for my nation, if our nation has to, has to be safe. Yes, Rahul Ami, Nepali, Edi Nepal by Matra. Yes or no? If there will be Nepal, only we can say, I am Nepali. For that, that is our unity, that is our common aspirations, that is the real identity of a Nepali person. So, that uh, aspirations, that feelings and that sort of unity, we have to show, which actually shown by our ancestor in few. In that time, we have to learn from the past, we have to learn from the ancestors what they have done to make independent our country in the same ways that we have to do and that is our identity and that identity, unity is an identity that should be continuous for all time, for all time and Nepal is a independent country and the 
very good unity not only unity unity in diversity that is our identity now understood yes understood and i hope that has to be understood that has to be implemented only we can be a nepali okay another is the while talking about that secularism and religious tolerance is also our identities now our country became secular secular state but previous time our country was the re, not a secular state that was the hindu kingdom but in that time religious tolerance on the basis of religious tolerance we were identify all over the world why because in our country have you ever heard have you ever seen have you ever listen our in our country any war fight dispute on the basis of religion no never and it will not be never students the, for that you are the responsible i am the responsible and all the nepali peoples are responsible for that so religious tolerance in nepali it is called dharmik sahishunata it means i have my my religion you have your religion maybe different different religions already told you that in our census already 10 religions are there but i love i respect my religion and in a same ways i will respect your religion too this sort of feeling is totally fitted in our body fitted in our heart this feeling is called religious tolerance it is called religious tolerance i respect love and follow my religion and i respect your religion i love your religion it is called the religious tolerance now secularism secularism means the country became the secular it means equal value given by the government uh, or the given by the country for all religions now our country is not a uh, in uh, hindu religion uh, hindu country or so on our country is secular country secular means in nepal it is called dharma nirpeksha rajya all the religions are equally treated by the nation this is also our another identity students and while talking about the another identity is gender identity gender identity either the male or female or third genders all are equal in our country okay in our country everything in our new constitutions which uh, was promulgated on third as been 2072 there is the secularism also mentioned there is the equality also mentioned there is the identity also mentioned and there is the development also mentioned on the proportionate development it means all persons are getting the right all the persons are getting the chance either from the kashmandu valley or from the humla jumla magdi mustang manang all they are getting the equal opportunity or you can say all the caste are getting all the religions are getting opportunity all the genders are getting opportunities gender equality is also our identity you can see our president previous time you have you can see the chief justice of supreme court okay and you can see the our law minister okay and you can see in every local level government there is the fixed availability fixed quota fixed reservation for the women it means gender equality gender identity identity that is not only limited on a paper sheet now we can see on a clearly uh, applicable ways we have seen on a ground so students gender identity is also our another identity okay as a summary we can say as a summary how nepal is been identified on the basis of geographical identity on the basis of unity in diversity on the basis of gender identity on the basis of various other ways our nepal 
is identified and we are feeling proud is a Nepali. We are from the land of Gautam Buddha. Okay? We are from the land of Gautam Buddha, the preacher of peace and preacher of peace that everyone known, everyone are visiting, many peoples are visiting for the this feeling Buddhism. Okay? So, on the land of Gautam Buddha, preacher of, preacher of peace and light of Asia, Gautam Buddha is also our identity. We are from the country of Mount Everest and country of Mount Everest, uh, highest peak of the world we have and we are proud of that. So, that Mount Everest is also another identity. We are, I am talking about the summary where we are including all these things. Okay? We are identified as a meek and brave warrior all over the world either in first world war or in second world war many warriors got the victory across and many others uh, gallantry awards by the many soldiers that history told still peoples are frightening in front of the gorkha warrior not only brave warrior and meek they are so meek okay they are straight forward they don't know any left and right they work they work and they complete they never learn to die in a war they learn to kill in a war they learn to win a war but they didn't learn to lose a war that sort of meek and brave warrior and expert in guerrilla's war all nepali peoples are identified as a brave Gurkha all over the world. And deepest gorge Dana Tatopani, which is made by the Kali Gandagi river, that is also another identity we have. We have many identities and all the identities we cannot explain one by one, but we have the great identity all over the world either by the physical features of the country or by the work done by our ancestor and whatever we are doing. So, we have the great identities, our identities today we gone through and I request one more time students that some negative identities which I already mentioned that do not write on answer sheet, but Write in your mind, write in your mind, think for nation, already told you yes, what nation gave me, do not think, what you are giving to the nation, think, plan and give, only our identity will be more and our country will be the developed country, we have to come out from the queue of the developing countries and we have to stand of the uh, queue of the developed not a developing countries we have to stand on developed countries place that is another identity we have to make okay we have to make that identity it means developed countries that we have to be that is also can be our identity if my students will follow my students will write whatever I told that you have written on your heart, in your mind only that can be possible. So, students uh, this is our, our identities and I hope you enjoy the class, stay safe, be happy, help your parents, control your aggression, be a, a natural and practical and be a creative sometime write poems uh, create any other thing singing dancing and so on utilize the time properly enjoy the life and tomorrow again we will meet and don't miss the don't miss the class one more request okay thank you for watching me